Hey, loud crowd. Ever wonder what a typical day for Clyde McBride looks like? Well, we've got you covered. Let's dive in for an inside look at one half of the Clink and McLeod duo. Clyde usually starts his day with a healthy breakfast cooked up by his loving dads. As their only son, they are always looking out for him. Morning, dads. Morning, sweetie. Oop, oh, arms up. Now, now, don't want you falling off the stool and cracking your noggin. Yeah, leave the cracking to me. <laughs> <laughs> Clyde, no, not the hot sauce. You'll burn your mouth. I thought we locked this up. Almost too much, but Clyde doesn't mind. After that, it's time to walkie his best friend Lincoln to plot out the day. Roger, I mean, this is Clyde, not Roger, but yeah, Roger, it's Clyde. And just in case anything goes wrong, they got a code in place for any emergency. Clyde, this is Lincoln, come in, I've got a code blue. Code blue? You did something wrong and lied about it and now everything is all messed up? Affirmative, can you come over? Negative. I've got a code green. You showed up to school in your underwear? No, that's code orange. See, anything. Then Clyde's off to school where he and the rest of the gang broadcast their morning news show as the Action News Team. Good morning, Royal Woods Middle School. I'm Lincoln Lamb. And I'm Clyde McBride. And kangaroos, this is your news. Is that a shoe? <laughs> well, that's the news for today. From all of us here at Action News, have a happy day, kangaroos. <laughs> After that, it's time to catch up with Meryl. As a former junior administrator, it's important to stay in touch with the faculty. Meryl! Yoo-hoo, Meryl! <laughs> oh, she's watching that soap opera, Southern Hospitality. Jackson just came back from the dead, only to find his long-lost fiance had fallen into a coma. I try to stay current. Even if it is about the latest soap. Next up, gym class. Clyde's not exactly the best dodgeball player, but when you're playing against eighth graders with a broken scorpion formation, who is? My every nightmare is about to come true. Nobody panic! Initiate scorpion formation! Ah. Huh? <laughs> then it's lunchtime. Clyde sometimes brings a homemade baked treat for the lunch swap. He is a phenomenal baker after all. I thought I'd keep it simple but elegant. I've prepared samples. Anyone want to try? No, I, do, I do, I do. The rest of the gang, not so much, especially after the cookie incident. Come look at the conveyor belt I rigged up. Ah! Animal! No! Oh, I want to the the cookies! Whoa! Hey! Before leaving, the Action News team meets up and talks about ideas for their next big story. I got the story. We investigate undercover aliens posing as teachers at our school. Still a no, Zach. Okay, you'll be sorry when Mr. Guggenheimer starts his invasion. School's out for the day, which means Clyde and Lincoln are free to do anything. They can go to flips, hit up Gus's for some games and grub, or even hang out at the Louds. Just as long as Luann's not up to something. But if she is, there's always antiquing. That's more Clyde speed and definitely has fewer crows. It's not for everyone, but Clyde and Zach enjoy it. Want to join in on the fun? Throw on a pair of those gloves, buddy. We're cleaning up these antiques. You're having fun by cleaning up? You should really try it, Lincoln. It's very relaxing. Nah, I'm good. I'll just hang out till you guys are done. Mind if I grab one of these root beers? Sure, help yourself. Wait, I don't have any. No! That's Dr. Peabody's onion elixir! Copyright 1812! Sometimes Clyde will need to call Dr. Lopez in the afternoon, whether he has an appointment or not. My plan to get into your class failed, and now I'm being transferred to a school in Canada. That's Seriously, dog? Dr. Lopez, I need to schedule an emergency appointment this afternoon! We'll cancel your massage! If it's the weekend, the Ace Savvy Con is in town. You know Clyde and Lincoln are always ready to deal out some justice. Sorry! Well, the important thing is, we got their attention. And they really seem to like your sisters. True. And when they stand out, it's good for all of us. We're one step closer to being in that movie. Wish I could just fix this belt. No, no, ah. Uh-oh, gotta make it home before the streetlights come on. Time to put Operation Make It Home Before the Streetlights Come On in one epic montage and also think of a shorter name for this operation into action. Phew! 
made it just in time. And before his dad's, too, on, guess it's time to unwind at home. Freedom and pickles! <laughs> oh, yeah! What better way to finish the day than hunting ghosts with Hunter Specter, Specter Hunter on R? This is one tricky ghost. If I'm going to catch it, I'll need my officially licensed Hunter Specter phantasmal glasses, my trusty spirit translator, and of course, my ghost phaser. <gasps> Look out, a ghost! Wow, this has been a busy day, but there's still time for a quick pillow fight before bed with Nepertiti and Cleopatra. <laughs> Clyde, we're home. Ooh. Oh, hey, dads. We were just getting an early jump on our bedtime. And that's just one day in the life of Clyde McBride. Every day is a little different, but it's never boring. Tomorrow is a new day full of brand new adventures, with plenty of seatbelts and bubble wrap and other safety precautions, of course. Can't be too careful, you know.